In 1931, even Ford Motor Company was feeling the impacts of the Depression, and they needed to change some of the long-held beliefs of their business model to drive sales in new areas. One solution the company turned to was increasing their commercial vehicle offerings, and they chose to showcase those vehicles through events they called the Ford Commercial Caravan. Prior to 1931, Ford offered a good number of commercial body styles on the 103-inch Model A chassis, such as pickups, deluxe deliveries, and even panel trucks. They also offered some body styles on the 131-inch AA chassis, such as platform and express bodies. But starting in 1931, Ford expanded the truck lineup by adding dozens of specialty commercial vehicles, such as ambulances, police patrols, buses, and a lot more. This was new ground for Ford. The plan required them offering dozens of varieties of trucks, but in small quantities. In less than four years, Ford had gone from offering only five body styles of the Model A, offering over 50, including trucks. This move made Ford the largest builder of commercial bodies sold as complete units. With all of these new offerings, Ford needed a creative way to showcase these vehicles. In the spring of 1931, they launched an ambitious series of shows across the country. Known as the Ford Commercial Caravan, these shows were run out of the 35 Ford assembly branches in the United States. Each branch would assemble examples of the different body types and would tour them around their sales territory. These shows could be elaborate displays with a fair-like atmosphere and others would be nothing more than a display of vehicles parked in front of a dealer. The larger events would be held over a couple of days, and the smaller ones might only be for a few hours. Other stops would have the cars split up amongst several local Ford dealers in the same town. The shows were marketed as a unique method of showcasing various Ford commercial units for different business uses. Ford advertisements stated there is a possible combination of 42 different body types, 38 color combinations, three different wheelbases, and three different gear ratios. Not all stops of the caravan saw the full lineup, but most saw at least 10 or 12 vehicles. The caravan featured some very custom trucks designed to showcase the Ford product line, such as this one, which was painted to show the color palette available for Ford trucks. Another opened up is a mobile display of Ford parts and accessories. This custom special delivery had a porthole window on the side panels. A delivery car was said to have a built-in Victrola to play music for attendees. While the branch would provide the vehicles, the local dealers were responsible for setting up the particular arrangement of that town's visit. This meant that the local dealer was responsible for promoting the event. There were hundreds of newspaper ads taken out by Ford dealers announcing the commercial caravan was coming to town, and these ads help us tell the story. Some of these advertisements are simple text ads, and others include graphics with expanded details. These ads included lists of the vehicles expected and what color the bodies were painted. This ad lists a sales offer and maintenance work, including oil change. Some listed the prices of the vehicles. Others advertised the Universal Credit Company and the Ford Finance Plan. Didn't have a ride to the show? Don't worry, many dealers advertised they would pick you up and bring you to the event. Some of the events weren't just static display. Some were demonstrations of the capabilities of the trucks. Such as in Chappelle, Nebraska, a truck demonstrated carrying 10,485 pounds of Portland cement up and down hills. Others had the air of a festival. Take the event in Bristol, Pennsylvania, hosted by the Collier Ford dealer. There was a parade that included a variety of contests, including Best Decorated Ford, the Oldest Model T, the Ford Driven by the Fattest Man, and the Ford Driven by the Heaviest Lady, and then the most dilapidated Ford. Imagine a business holding those contests today. Ford continued production of the Model A beyond 1931, and commercial vehicle production extended through March of 1932. Because of this, the Ford Caravans ran as late as January of 1932. 
When each branch had completed the tour of their territory, it was time to sell the demonstrators. Some of these trucks would have thousands of miles on them, but as show cars, they would have been kept in good working order and cosmetic condition. The Tacoma branch was advertising used caravan trucks for sale in September of 1931. The Omaha branch listed theirs for sale in March of 32. Ford knew that the average consumer was pinching pennies in 1931, and that in order to move more cars, they had to appeal to industry and government agencies that could afford to purchase trucks and vehicles for business. The Ford Caravan brought those vehicles to almost every small town in America and allowed these entities to see them in person. The Ford shows did something no brochure or print advertisement could do. They showcased the ruggedness and allure of these trucks and help Ford sell specialty vehicles to the people who needed them in one of the worst financial markets the world ever saw. As always, thanks for watching.